Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be comparing all the different DLSS modes that you can use in Red Dead Redemption 2 to hopefully help you guys uh, decide which setting you should use for your setup. Now I'm not going to be trying to influence your decision in any way. I'm simply going to give you the stuff you need to know to make the decision on your own because at the end of the day it's up to your PC specs and your preferences. Now the way the video is going to be kind of set up is I use the built-in benchmark to compare how much FPS you get between all the modes. Now I'm not going to be showing you video of the benchmark because when I'm filming at 1440p 60 frames per second while also um, playing Red Dead 2 at re really high settings and stuff I lose quite a bit of FPS about 10 sometimes even 15 frames. So to get the best results, I have not recorded through that at all. I just took a screenshot of the results at the end of the benchmark, which is what I'm gonna, which is what I'm going to be showing you guys. So then to show you visual comparisons, I also just went around two different parts of the map and took screenshots using all of the different DLSS modes, so that you guys could see the visual differences. Now, now the reason I didn't record the uh, sort of visual comparison is because. Every time I try to record Red Dead Redemption 2, um, at, as I said, 14, 40p, 40 or 60 frames per second, um, the the video looks super choppy, and I don't know why. Like it looks very bad. Trust me. Um, I would prefer to show you the visual differences through video and not through screenshots, but I literally couldn't. Couldn't. Like it was. It was like unwatchable. So. Oh, I'm don't don't worry. I'm trying to get that figured out for future videos, but for this one. I don't know i couldn't figure it out but yeah that's that's enough talking i've been talking way too much uh let's get into the video oh wait before we get started i should clarify i'm using the same settings that i used in this youtube video if you want to watch it just watch to the end of this one because it will be at the end screen of today's video so just watch to the end of the video if you want to see that and i'm playing at 1440p and those settings say that stay the same throughout all of my testing so just keep that in mind just wanted to get that out of the way now let's get started Okay, so now that you have seen the FPS comparisons, let's move on to the uh, visual comparisons. Now I'm going to be kind of talking through these ones. So starting off with no DLSS, it looks how you would expect it would be. Um, and anti-aliasing is set to um, high, by the way, so for both tests. Moving on to auto, there is a pretty big difference in FPS going from uh, no DLSS to auto and there's very minor differences in the visuals um there might be just a tiny bit more stair stepping and like the cables and arthur's hair looks a little bit uh, more pixelated but it's not stuff i think you would notice while playing the game and the same thing pretty much goes for quality uh, you gain just a, a tiny bit more fps and it looks pretty much the same now with balance, you can start to see a little bit more stair stepping in the cables and stuff in Saint Denis. And when you're moving around, it gets a little bit worse, but still very good. And the FPS is also a pretty good bonus too, gaining a little bit of FPS from quality. Now performance is where we start seeing some more eye-catching sort of um, flaws, I guess you could say. The stair stepping gets way worse, and just yeah, if, I'd say this is where you would draw the line if you had the uh, stop using DLSS because moving on to ultra performance Just just don't use it. Don't use ultra performance, please. It does not look good Like even the trees like the leaves on a tree Even start looking all like fucked up and shit, you know, it doesn't look that bad in the picture But trust me when you move your mouse around God it is not good. It is not good. just do not use uh ultra performance all right so now, now that you have seen those images of saint denis i'm going to be just showing you some other images from uh, camp so i'm not going to talk through these ones you guys can just take a look for yourself all right 
right so now that you have seen both the visual comparisons and the fps comparisons what i want you to do is go ahead and try this on your own computer because really what setting you use depends on uh your pc specs and your uh, your just your preferences for how the game looks if you care about how the game looks and you're not really picky with graphics or um obviously more fps is better so <laughs> But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, it probably is going to be a little longer than my usual videos, but you know what are you going to do? I had to pack a lot of information in it. And don't forget to like this video if you liked it. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you. Um, it really means more than you think because watch time is one of the most critical uh, analytics for a YouTuber. So if you watch all the way through someone's video, um, trust me they're thankful too and i am very thankful yeah and subscribe i've been trying to hit 1000 subscribers which is quite a big goal for where i'm at now but hey you gotta set a goal somewhere so i mean that's where i said it so yeah it means the world to me if you subscribe trust me and yeah i hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day or if it's the beginning of the day uh, i hope you have a great day or night i don't know uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>